Hi, so in this short video, I'd like to show you how you can use make.com to watch a Google Drive folder. And whenever a new file is uploaded into that folder, to move this file over into an Airtable. So this took me hours to figure out to get working. So I hope that by sharing this video, if somebody runs into the same problem, they need less time than I did. So. Let's get right to work. This is what my Airtable looks like. I want to use this to store pictures that I will post to Instagram. This could be any other attachment or file. And the point is this column here. So this is a column from the type file, and you can actually upload files into it. There's also a field for an Instagram text, and here is a checkbox, but we want to focus on filling this right here. So, and the way I want to do this is I have this folder on Google Drive. And whenever I drop a file in here, I want it to be uploaded into this area. So before we jump into make.com and I'll show you how to do this, the first thing we need to do here is go into the share settings here and change the share setting to general access. Anyone with a link can view the folder and also all the files in here. That's important so that Airtable can then access the files that are in this folder. And since they are to be shared anyway, I have no problem with sharing the entire folder. Also, you need to know the link in order to access it. So there's still some security around. It. So let's jump into make.com and this is how I did it. Okay. So here we are in, in make. So the first module I created was a watch files in a Google drive folder action that is just running continuously. By the way, connecting make.com with Google drive is a whole process that they've outlined quite nicely in the help documents, but it's very, very complicated compared to other services like Zephyr, for example, where it's just one click. But if you stick to the explanation that they give you really closely, you will be able to get it working. I was able to get it working. So once you've connected your G drive to make, what you can do is you can give it the folder name that it is supposed to be watching and you can set a limit. The limit is the amount of files that it will be working on. So if you drop like five files into that folder, uh, it will run five times. If you don't drop 50 into this folder, it will only run 10 times. So that's why this limit is four. Then the next step you want to add is download a file. It's also a G drive action and you need to switch this enter file ID to manually here for some reason. And then in the file ID, you want to choose the first one here, file ID. That's basically the file ID of the file that the first action found. That's basically it right here. And then the last thing you want to do is add a create record in Airtable or update record in Airtable. That would also work. Choose the base that it's supposed to do this magic in. Then for the name, you can choose anything you like. I chose the file name of the thing that found in Google. There are several file names, so I just chose the, the first one. Then I have the field for the copy, which we'll ignore. And then here is the important thing. So in the, whether the file should go, you need to choose web content link for yeah, the, the, the file that you actually want to up. That is the thing that was downloaded here in this step. And if you choose that, then you can, the file name you can leave empty or you can just pick anything you like. And then it will run and I'll show you how this works. So again, this is my air table, nothing in here. I'm in my Google folder here and let me just drop a picture in here like so. It's finished uploading. So, okay. So now it's in the, in the Google folder yeah. and let me just run this thing once manually. And let's take a look at the air table and you'll see that the girl with the pearl earring picture has been uploaded and here is the file that we put, dropped into the Google folder. So, okay, so that's how I got it working. There's other ways of doing it. Apparently if you switch this step into a get share link and then create a, a web hook to, to listen for it, I'm going to link the video beneath that one, but for me that didn't work really. So this is the, the way I got it working, but there's the one caveat that you have to share basically the entire folder publicly which again, is not a problem, I think, because you have to know the link in order to access it. But if these are some very sensitive documents, you might not want to do this. 
Yeah, so this is the only way I found to actually upload a file into an Airtable that would actually work from, from a G drive. I hope you find this video helpful and it saves you some time. If you do, please consider giving a like to it. And thank you very much for watching.